Hey guys, I'm JD with The Slumber Yard and I am fired up today because we are gonna be talking about one of my favorite beds over here at The Slumber Yard, the Sava Classic. But more specifically, we're gonna be going over its three firmness options, the Plush Soft, the Luxury Firm, and the Firm. I'm gonna be going over these three firmness levels in a bit here, but we're gonna start off by talking about the policy information that the Sava Classic is backed by. Then we'll briefly go over its construction and feel, and then we'll really delve into these firmness levels and where they're exactly at in terms of our opinion. We'll go over price near the end and at the very end, I'll even try to sum things up with a final verdict for you, so stick around. Now, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, You know, subscribe to The Slumber Yard for so much more, and if you need any more information about the Sava Classic and its firmness options, check down below in the description for a lot more helpful stuff. But now, let's get into this one. At the Slumber Yard, you know we work real hard to find the right bed for you. Okay, so before I start going on and on about these firmness options from the Sava Classic, I do wanna go over some general stuff like the types of policies this bed is backed by and its overall construction and feel. And for the record, we did receive the Sava Classic for free from Sava to review so we could tell you guys about it. You know, that's pretty much how we conduct all of our online mattress review content that we do over here on this channel. But in terms of policy stuff, you should be getting completely free shipping to start. And with the Sava Classic, Sava backs all of their mattresses with complimentary white glove delivery. So instead of the the standard bed in a box unboxing method that you usually get with an online bed. This bed is gonna show up at your door full size with a delivery team that will bring it into your home and set it up for you at no additional cost. And they'll, in most cases, remove your old bed for free. White glove delivery is always nice to have, especially if you're unable to physically set up a big burly bed like this one by yourself. Or if you maybe live in an inconvenient location like a high rise or a rural area. And I actually put that theory to the test recently because I purchased the Sava Classic for my dad and he lives out in the boonies way in Northern Nevada. And a local delivery team actually went all the way out to his you know, place and set this bed up for him at no extra cost. I was really surprised by the whole process. So that white glove delivery, always nice to have. And Sava as a brand goes well above and beyond with it. Now, once the bed is in your possession, you also get 365 nights to try it out in the comfort of your own home before it's officially yours. So you get an entire year to really put this bed to the test. And if within that first year of testing it out, you end up not really liking it for whatever reason, you will have to pay a small transportation fee to send it back just because Sava as a brand incurs a bit more cost shipping this mattress to you with that whole white glove delivery process. But if you end up wanting to keep it, which I think should be the case for the vast majority of folks out there, the Sava Classic is a really nice mattress that I don't see many people returning. It is backed by a lifetime warranty, which is awesome. And if you need any more information regarding all this policy stuff, check the description box for it. Now, moving over into construction, there's a lot going on with the Sava Classic. It actually uses two layers of coils on the bottom for support, which makes it a great option for heavier people. So hybrid beds, if you didn't know already, basically use coils in combination with various foams for comfort. And with the Sava Classic, it has inner springs on the bottom. And then above that, you have another layer of pocketed coils. So pocketed coils are individually siloed springs that, you know, kind of move independently of each other. So they go a long way in increasing a bed's overall motion isolation, and they give beds a lot more bounce if that's something that you're into. So all those coils make it a really supportive option for much heavier people or just all body types in general. Now, above all those coil layers, you have a more transitional layer of memory foam. And then rounding the entire mattress out is a nice European pillow top with some additional comfort elements in there. Now, the overall design and construction of the Sava Classic gives it more of a traditional pillow top or inner spring feel. So when you hop on this bed, you may find it to be really similar to something that you maybe grew up sleeping on, like a more of a traditional hotel bed, just a really springy, responsive type of coil mattress. So a lot of people are used to that style of bed, including myself, so I really prefer the feel that's found on this one. In a nutshell, it should just feel really comfortable and accommodating for a lot of sleeper types out there. Now let's get into the furnace options. So there are three here with the Sava Classic to choose from. You've got a plush soft, which in our opinion is right around a medium firmness, maybe a little bit softer than that. So you're getting a bed that's gonna be appropriate for all sleeper types right off the bat. So if you like to sleep on your backside, stomach, or a combination of all three throughout the night, you're gonna be good to go right away with this model. And also if you're more of a primary side or combination sleeper looking for the most amount of pressure relief on the Sava Classic, the Plush Soft is obviously gonna be the way to go. It's gonna be their softest model. Now from the Plush Soft, you move up into their luxury firm version, which we commonly 
strongly recommend for the vast majority of sleeper types out there. It's around a medium firm though. So it's gonna be a bit firmer than something like a medium, which is usually what we suggest for all sleeper types. But that being said, it should work just fine for all sleepers, you know, backside, stomach, and combination. But since it is a little bit firmer, it is gonna provide just a bit more support for primary back and stomach sleepers. But keep in mind, all beds do soften over time as you use them. So you almost wanna start out with something that's a little bit firmer and then have it come down to that medium firmness or whatever as you start to use it. So I personally sleep on a bed that is around a medium now, but it did start off being a little bit firmer than a medium, at least that's what I thought. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind when you purchase a brand new bed. Now from their luxury firm, you then move up into the firm and right up top here, I just wanna say that the firm is a firm, firm, bed, okay, this is gonna be a primary back and stomach sleeper bed. It's gonna be a proper firm on our scale. So, you know, it's not gonna work that well for side and combination sleepers looking for a lot of pressure relief from their bed, you know. The firm is gonna be a truly, truly firm mattress from Saba, probably only gonna be best for strict back and stomach sleeping. But a lot of people out there really prefer a firm mattress. There are a bunch of firm mattresses within the online space that a lot of people love and enjoy. You know, if you do want a firm mattress from Sattva, you know, another model they also offer for a ton of other beds for you to consider. They also have the Zen Haven, which is a flippable latex foam option. It's gonna be really firm on either side for you. They also have their Lumen Leaf, which is also available in two different versions, a relaxed firm and a firm. Both are gonna be much firmer. And they also have their new Sava Memory Foam Hybrid Mattress, which is also on the firmer end of the spectrum. It's gonna be a little bit firmer than a medium, but it is probably gonna be a bit more affordable than the Sava Classic at the end of the day. But now let's get into some X factors with the Sava Classic. And there are two main ones, and the first one is the zone support feature that's located within the center third of the bed. There's a lumbar support here, and this is there to essentially help keep your back in a more neutral spinal alignment. You might not even notice that it's even there when you first hop on this bed, but it could benefit those who suffer from chronic back pain at night. The other thing with the Sava Classic is you take one look at this bed and you just think, wow, this is a super nice bed. It's a really luxurious option. It's got this golden embroidery and a nice organic cotton cover wrapping everything up. It just looks a cut above a lot of other online beds within this space. Really premium mattress you're getting with the Sava Classic. And this luxurious look might lead you to believe that the Sava Classic is way out of your price range. And while it is pretty up there, it's much more affordable than one might think. As of when I'm doing this video, a queen size Sava Classic retails for just shy of the $2,000 mark, but after discount, and Sava is usually pretty good with the discounts that they run on their beds these days, you can expect to pay right around the $1,700 range for one, maybe even less on some days. And we should have something to help you out with saving the most amount of money with the Sava Classic down below in the description box some sort of discount. And if you do decide to use that discount, it'll actually help a lot with, you know, supporting us hardworking folks over here at the Slumberyard. And we really appreciate that from you guys. But that's pretty much gonna sum it up for this video. Hopefully we kind of informed you on these furnace options a bit more today, but now let's really give you a final verdict. Over here at the Slumberyard, we would say, look into the plush soft model of the Sava Classic. If you are more of a side or combination sleeper, or you just want a bed to be closer to that medium furnace right off the bat, check out their luxury firm. If you just want something that'll start around a medium firm, firm for all sleeper types, but probably should soften up over time as you use it. And then consider that firm model if you know you want a truly firm bed that'll most likely work best for strict back and stomach sleeping. But hey, that's just our take on it. What is yours? When it comes down to the Sava Classic, what do you like about this bed and what do you maybe hate? Write us down below in the comments. We would love to know your thoughts. And if you need any more information about this bed, check the description box. We should have full written reviews of it down there, other comparisons with it, buyer guides that you know it's on, and of course, those discounts to help save you some money on it. If you enjoyed this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We always really appreciate your support over here, but that's gonna do it for this one. Again, I'm JD with the Slumber Yard. That's D-Pain, the pain train behind the camera, baby. Choo-choo! Sleep, ride, sleep, tight. We'll see you next time. Subscribe.